Hello everyone, this is Kevin Orris, and in this video I'm going to be talking about how New Age spirituality, right, and spirituality with a big quotation marks around it, and how its ungrounded tenets, practices, and philosophies, I would argue, have emasculated generations of men since its inception. And I'm referring to basically the post-World War II era in the West, which has been my experience. So I'm making this video because this was a status I posted on Facebook about a month ago or more, and it received a lot of flack. And a lot of people freaked out and sent me a lot of messages, and I got a lot of PMs and DMs and comments with people like, explain yourself, explain yourself. Aren't you a new age spiritual guy, right? And a lot of people just wanted more clarity. They're like, explain, you know, what's happening. And while I want to make a few disclaimers before I get into this, one is, you know, first off, I don't even believe in experts per se, but I'm certainly not an expert in this. I'm going to be speaking only from my own personal experiences and informed opinions, which keyword, there's still opinions, and my journey through this stuff. That's why I'm speaking on it. What's well, it's because I care. Um, the other thing is, you know, invitation to situate yourself in this conversation and take ownership and responsibility. Um, I'm not going to be responding to negative comments. I'm not going to be feeding any trolls. So if you don't have something intelligent to say and respect respectable, you know, don't expect me to respond to messages, comments, etc. And if you are triggered, congratulations you've learned something about yourself and I've learned something about myself. So let's talk about this. And let me just make it the short answer if you don't want to watch this video. The short answer is that new age spirituality, which much of, let's just call it yoga, crystals, breath work, psychedelics, um, Wiccan witchcraft practices, various pagan practices, all of which, by the way, have been co-opted and used in a certain way. They're not the pure strata of these venerable ancient, a lot of which indigenous traditions, a lot of which deep esoteric traditions that come from magic, alchemy, and hermeticism, and things like this that go back thousands and thousands of years. I'm talking about the watered down mainstream versions of these things that when inserted into a youth culture that didn't want to go to war, they didn't want to go to Vietnam, they didn't want to go to Iraq, they didn't want to go to whatever, in a post 9-11 culture of PC, highly politically correct, um, agendas to fracture and reverse gender and various other psyops, which again, invitation to do your own research, that's not what this video is about, but in these practices, the sum result for many people, and I want to hear your experience down in the comments, has reversed gender. It's made men more feminine. And as a result, made a lot of women more masculine. And this has been a big part of my work and my coaching practice and what I do for clients and what I do at events is basically reteach and re-embody the practices and mindsets and philosophies to make men masculine again and make women feminine again and come into balance and harmony with that, not in this hyper liberal, you know, environment of the PC, you know, agenda of really getting the genders mixed up. And I think the new age spiritual community is a hotbed for this leaky, unembodied, ungrounded versions of spirituality that the mainstream has even caught on now with. Um, and how am I speaking about this? You know, what am I talking about? Who am I to talk about this? Well, I've lived it. I've lived it from growing up in Texas, being a, you know, somewhat conservative to very conservative academic, wanting to go on a PhD journey in psychology and philosophy, you know, studying political science and government, all the way to backpacking through India, becoming vegetarian, you know, training in yoga and breathwork and meditation for months and becoming highly, you know, a new age kind of person. And then coming all the way back, having worked with people like Elliot Hulse, working with various men's group organizations, Sacred Sons, and my own training in Tantra, in 
polarity in relating and coming all the way back to yes guess what the thing that's going to make a man the most powerful and the most masculine are core principles that many of our forefathers and the great minds of the western tradition have given to us the stoics the neoplatonists the hermeticists and they are well pretty simple dedication responsibility integrity precision assertion not aggression but high levels of assertion and you know dare i say it, healthy aggression wealth creation specificity holding our word being speakers being protectors being defenders being able to physically defend ourselves and the tribe and to defend women and children not to not to create war and to create conflict but to create a deep sense of purpose inside yourself and any man out there that doesn't practice or believe in that i invite you to show me why that is and why that's working and i want to just address something off the bat as well and again invitation to situate yourself in this conversation all of this talk of the postmodernists of gender as a social construct what do you mean by masculine and feminine that doesn't mean anything i'm gender fluid you know and then it, then the trans lgbtq community gets brought in which you know i'm not going to speak to that because that's not my experience and i honor everyone's experience however um i'm not going to buy into this idea that you know if a man is fully feminine and disembodied and not in his word and not you know creating boundaries in his life and structure no matter what kind of relationship he's in as a man he's not in his masculine i don't see that working very well and i haven't seen it work in my life so that's what i can speak to and i'm challenging or inviting anyone to show me how that works same thing for women what i notice about women if women are locked into their masculine and not cultivating the feminine qualities and principles this is not just about genitalia and gender these are primordial energies and ways of being that are reflected in everything see taoism and the yin and the yang for a more idea on this if you're if this idea is unfamiliar to you and it's really about integration are you integrated in your life are you integrated in your business your speech your relationships your commitments if not and as a man if you're not in your full masculine purpose and presence and you don't have polarity with with a woman or a partner if you don't have polarity with other men that is you're being aggressive assertive you're being direct you're being in full power and honesty Well, you're going to have to cultivate some of these masculine principles and much of the new age community has not put this forward. At least the watered down, you know, highly corruptible version that many of us have been familiar with. Now, that's not to say that there is great beauty in some of the new age, you know, umbrella, but it's it's actually the exception. It's not the norm. The norm has been a a commodified watered down version. So, And if you know what that is and if you're in that community and practicing that, I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to many of the other brothers and sisters I see on social media that are struggling to understand why they're broke, why they're not in a healthy relationship, why their body's not healthy, why their mind is confused. And you know, the invitation is to pull back and get away from the distortions. If it feels like bullshit in your body, guess what? It is. If it feels like bullshit in your mind and your heart and it's not serving life and it's not serving men and women in your community, pull back. Come back to your senses. If you're not sensing it in your body and from a deep felt presence, and this isn't woo woo, this is your instinct. As a man, you got to have strong instincts. You know, if you were a hunter, if you were a builder, if you were a warrior, your instincts are everything. not what you read in some book or what some teacher told you that wasn't practicing it themselves not what you heard that the news or society or the blame shame game and the projections and the triad of well now we have a victim perpetrator savior so which one are you going to be this is what mainstream puts out there and a lot of the new age is co-opted in this way and i don't need to explain myself fully i'm i'm speaking what's true for me and the people meant to hear this and and really receive it are receiving it so the people that are like explain this and that and get really nuanced and details like 
yes, I'm being general with some of this, but you can situate yourself in this conversation and I invite you to do so. And really what it comes down to is any system beyond new age and the spiritual traditions, any system that disempowers you, weakens you, or makes you wrong and makes you feel shame about yourself or makes you feel fear or blames or puts a, puts a projection on you, guess what? It's not serving anyone. And that's what a huge awakening is happening right now in this country, in the US of A, and across the world, is a lot of us for thousands of years in humanity have been fed these BS traditions. A lot of them are dogmas and ideologies. And it's way beyond the new age, but I think the new age is on the cutting edge, so we get to have this conversation here. And I really wanna invite everyone watching this to share this video or tag someone who gets to feel this message because this is the message I wish I had heard seven, eight years ago when I started my journey into new age spirituality, right? And moved away from traditional religion, moved away from traditional philosophy and ideology, and then started exploring and experimenting. And so this is what I wish men to hear. And I really wanna invite you to come back to your senses, release distortions, don't buy into anything that emasculates you, including but not limited to the new age fluffiness that has been all over the place, frankly, in the past couple of years and is only gonna increase as we come back to reason, as we come back to truth and humanity wakes up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate y'all. See you soon.